How do you know the Florida State football empire is not going away anytime soon? Count the stars. I'm Jeff Fischel. This is the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. A record 29 Seminole stars have been taken in the last three NFL drafts. And the next generation is all four and five star recruits. I asked Jimbo Fisher to pick one true freshman who will make a big impact this season. He couldn't just name one. I think it's three or four. I think Jacquez will. I think Derwin James definitely will on defense. Derwin's, not, I mean, 6'2", 210 pounds, and from the day he got there, runs 4'4", four, four verticals about 44 inches, is, is really a big-time player. Uh, George Campbell, receiver. Uh, and then Jacquez right there, I think, at tailback. Those three guys, I mean, DeAndre Johnson had a great spring, but quarterbacks are a little different to, to come along. But those three guys just jumped off the charts at you. And there was a couple other guys in that group that were high school early entries that I think will too, but got hurt after about five days of practice. But those three guys to me were just, they look like they've been there two or three years. We got a taste of all three in the Garnet and Gold spring game back in April. Derwin James, rated the number one high school safety, had a pick six off Sean McGuire. George Campbell, another top 10 recruit, caught a pass over the middle, broke a tackle, and went 65 yards for a touchdown. And Jack Wes Patrick, a 230-pound back with 4.5 speed, had 100 all-purpose yards, and that's not even counting a long touchdown that was called back because of a penalty. With a new generation of Seminoles ready to lead the program, will FSU win another ACC title? Tweet us at the ACCDN. I'm Jeff Fischel. That's the ACC Now, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday.